uh, sorry if I haven't posted a video in a couple of weeks. Been busy with school. Yes, I'm going to school, I'm going to college, trying to finish up in December. So it's been kind of rough for me the last couple of weeks. But, uh, yeah. Well, um, I just saw a video this morning about racism and racial bias and stuff like that on the Steve Harvey show um, here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to link to it in the description if you want, guys want to see it. But I realized something growing up that Steve Harvey and the, his audience members say. It It's weird. It's different from being a colored person than being a white person. Like, if you're a white person who whose family came out to in like came to this country with absolutely nothing like, and you your family grew up from being basically zero to like being fairly well off. Yeah, you're cool and I congratulate you. But at the same time why is it different for me as a colored in as an Indian person, um, a person from whose parents are from India and a white person? For example, I went to, I go, actually I go to school in New York, I'm from California, and obviously I have to take the plane every, like to go back home and stuff, and to come to school, and every, like every time I go through a security thing, people say, oh, excuse me sir, come here and we need to do some additional screening for you, but it's, but a person, like, this happened to me like a bunch of times, just because I'm a big brown dude, I'm Five foot ten, two hundred something odd pound, like I'm a big dude. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna deny it. But my question is, why are we doing this? It's TSA is a bunch of idiots, in my opinion. TSA is a bunch of idiots who can't do their job correctly, and uh, that's a different issue. I have a long list of complaints against TSA. Um, it just says just because of me. But anyways, getting back to the topic. Why is it that a white person who can go through security and not get searched, but a brown does, person does? I know they're trying to keep people safe, but at the same time, if you want to keep these airports safe, why search just the brown people, or why just search like a certain race or religion or something small? It's stupid, in my opinion. But at the same time, no one says anything, but as soon as a white person does something, it's just like, well, let's just brush it off, kind of thing, but it's really stupid where this country is going, but, um, what I'm trying to get at is, like, what do you guys think, like, why does, why is it, like, why does people like the Roar Shooter, or the Newtown Shooter, or whoever, um, the people brush it off as, like, kind of a lone wolf situation, where, uh, if someone from, let's take some terrorist group, does something wrong, like 9-11, or whatever, it blows up to a point where, oh, let's blame Islam, or let's blame the entire religion, or let's blame all brown people for this, or whatever. It's like, what? Why is it that people of who are belong to Islam, or whatever religion you belong to, accuse of something different because you're brown? <laughs> It doesn't make any sense to me, and I'm trying to figure, been trying to figure that out for a long time now, and I couldn't figure out a damn answer for it. For example, why is it that the Newtown or not Newtown, the Aurora shooter, said, and or the the South Carolina shooter in the South Carolina who went into the South Carolina out, I think black church and shot and killed like ten people. I think my number might be wrong, but I could be wrong. Um, but anyways, why is it that they're saying, oh, it's a lone wolf situation, or we should just brush it off, and then just kind of brushes it off to a point where we only talk about something like that for two weeks, or three weeks, or some short amount of time, and brush it off, and if some, in, for example, if 9-11, like, the terrorist, exam, terrorist like, terrorism, um, attacks happening in Brussels or Paris, France, or even for as far back as 9-11, it's just like, oh, let's just blame Islam, or let's just keep talking about it for three years, or four years, or five years, or however long it is, and it's just like, why is that? Why are we talking about, like, terrorism, 
um, killing mass people for brown people, which is the same, and then not and brushing off a white person killing kids in Newtown, not the same thing. Why is that? Like, why is it that if a white person does something, the white person gets off relatively easy? Or that kind of slap on the wrist. Whereas, why is, like, a bra if a brown color person does something, why does that bra color person get screwed over in the justice system? It's so, like, screwed up! If, like, that's why I hate this government so much. Because they're a bunch of idiots who are too busy lining their own pockets and, and not trying to help anyone else. They're just too busy lining their own pockets, lining their own, like, fa helping out their own family, that they don't want to, like, acknowledge, oh, let's talk about gun control after something happens. Like, no! <laughs> no! You talk about it before anything happens. That's how, like, the government's supposed to help us, not, like, the other way around. Like, I'm sorry I'm getting angry here, but, like, I'm speaking the truth. I just want to, like, express that, express this to the world, and stuff like that. And I do apologize if I if I insulted or offended anybody, I just wanted to kind of expand my knowledge, ex like help, like just trying to understand everything. Um, understand this world a little bit better, that's all. Um, like I said, I'll, like, I want to hear your thoughts about racism and bias and everything in the comments below. And I will link to the Steve Harvey clip that I mentioned earlier in this video in the, in the description box below. Um, yeah. Uh, leave me a comment in the below. Just see, tell me like where I can improve. Like, subscribe, please help me out. All right. See ya.